Hello and welcome to a new video about the physical principle of electrical effects. Right. Last time we learned, okay, electrical charges are natural phenomenon, and we said, okay, these charges, they are there, and there are plus and minus charges, and we call it plus and minus, and every charged particle uh, has a minimum, minimum amount of electrical charge, the elementary charge, which was 1.602, 10 power of minus 19 Coulomb. And, uh, well, today we want to look a little bit further because we also said like uh, charges, so plus and plus and minus and minus, positive and positive and negative and negative, they are, they are feeling a force. Huh? away from each other and if they are unlike plus and minus minus and plus they're feeling a force towards each other yeah so they are, they are, they are attracted attracted to each other and today we want to look a little bit inside how we can calculate this right so i want to start with an effect that everybody knows i guess yeah? i have a pen and if i let it go block <laughs> why? Why is it dropping? Gravity. Gravity is the reason why this pen has dropped. Countless, on countless occasions, gravity is tested, tested if it's still working. Yeah? All around the globe, yeah? with your drinking glass. Yeah. Gravity. Let's talk about gravity first. Yeah. So we have somewhere, we have somewhere our ground. Hmm. That's Mother Earth. We have somewhere a mess. On my desk is a mess. But here we have a mass, <laughs> a mass end, all right? Around the Earth, there's a gravitational field. Huh? So there's a gravitation field, gravitational field. Called G. Gravitational field of our Earth. Yeah? On Earth, we have around this 9.81 meter per square second, so it somehow feels like an acceleration. Okay? And because we are inside of a gravitational field, this mass feels a force in direction of the gravitational field. Okay. So towards the Earth middle point, yeah. center of the Earth. Yeah. For us, it's down. And how to calculate this? The force equals the mass multiplied by the gravitational field. You probably have heard about this. So this is nothing new to us. Should not be nothing. It should not be new. In case of, of electrical, we don't have a gravitational field. We have an electrical field. So here. Put it here somewhere. E. In this case, E is an electrical field. Mm 
Okay? E is the electrical field, and the counterpart of our mass is the charge. The sign of the charge is Q. It's called Q. Mm -hmm. And also, on our charge, there is a force applied. In direction of the electrical field. And now we only have to use the analogy. Okay? The force equals the analogy to the mass is the is the charge multiplied by the electrical field E. So it's exactly exactly the same physical principle there. Huh? So there's a, a force field, there's a field, and this field has somehow an effect on things, yeah? and well, that's it. Now, what is causing these fields? Yeah? What is causing this gravitational field, for instance? Yeah? I'm math. The mass of, I also have my gravitational field around me, yeah? but it's compared to the Earth gravitational field, it's less. Yeah? A lot. And so the mass of the Earth is generating this gravitational field of the Earth, which has an effect to other masses. Right? And here is exactly the same. The electrical field is produced by charges and has effect on charges. So we can think about that here is, is some plate. And here is some plate. And to produce this electrical field, we have to charge those plates. Huh? And here we have plus, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Dozen. Dozen charges. <laughs> and here we have negative charges. Right. Those charges, those charges, they generate this electric field. And this electric field have an effect on discharge. And now look what is happening with our force. The force is facing towards the, the negative charge because we said this is a positive charge. Q is plus, yeah, plus Q. Yeah. All right. And it, a positive charge is attracted to negative. So, unlike charges are attracted to each other. Yeah? Like charges will try to get a lot of space in between them. And what happens if we have a minus Q here? Yeah, minus Q. Let's see. The direction is still the same, so but with minus, and if there is a minus direction, then we have to force in the other to the other side. F. Yeah? The same amount of force, but to the other side. And look, negative charges are attracted to positive to positive charges. It, it immediately turns out out of this. Yeah? So, you see, this fits. Yeah? And the electrical effects, this electrical force is much, much bigger than the gravitational force. When I'm sitting in the evening in front of my TV set on the couch, sometimes the gravitational forces are really big. <laughs> it's hard to split up. 
<laughs> but the electrical forces are even bigger, yeah? but we are not noticing them uh, because in our daily life, most elements we deal with are simply not charged. There are equally uh, distributed charges, plus and minus charges, so in whole they're neutral. So we don't see these electric forces. Yeah? If we would, then it would look different. Yeah? But it is not. Right? Yeah, and this is also the reason here we talked about this also last time. So those are attracted to each other, and this is the reason, even if the electrons spin like crazy here, yeah, they are not falling into the into the core of the atom, yeah, because the centrifugal forces and the attraction forces between the, the electron and the protons, they simply level each other. Yeah? So there are stable orbit around. At least we can think about it like that. Uh, and here, what is inside here? They are protons, they are very close together. And I just said the electrical force is huge. Yes, and it is huge. However, compared to the forces which uh, are inside the core of, of an atom, the electrical force is tiny. All right? So and the forces is, comes from the neutrons. The neutrons act like a bonding agent. agent all right? Glue, super glue. The neutrons are the super glue of our atoms. And they prevent the protons from... from Drifting away from each other, shooting away even. Yeah? And this is why a nuclear reaction is so powerful because you really, this, there, there is a lot of force inside there. Yeah? It just holds this together. And, yeah. and if you really can manage to separate the nucleus, the core of an atom, then, yeah, there is, we know, we know there's a lot of power inside. All right, so this is the force effect on charges. And yeah, coming back to the, to the pen, what is happening if I apply force to the pen? Oh, look, it's moving. Ah. <gasps> what is happening if forces, uh, if, if, if charges are moving, we're going to talk about Next in next video, then we look a, a little bit deeper. Now we realize, okay, there is a force, there's a charge, and if there are charges, then the force is applied to this charge. And next time we will explore what it means if if these electrical charges are allowed to move. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.